The power! Ah, this powerful sword. I can take down more enemies faster, stronger. What's the first thing I should do with this thing? Kill the chicken! I want Kentucky Fried Chicken! Give it to me! Kill the chicken! Ah! Run away! Ah! No! Had to be done. Had to be done. Alright. We now have warping ability. And with this warping ability, there's a few things we need to take care of. First thing we're going to do is come up here. Because, I don't know if you forgot or not, but... There's a tablet at the mountain peak. Yes know that. That involved having the Master Sword. Ow. So we're going to take care of that right now. You think you'd be able to run faster upstairs. Take his boots. But you can't. In fact, while we're at it, there's another thing that we looked into, but did not previously have the ability to take care of. Ooh, right down here. These things, which are just laughing at us over and over again. Well, ha! Ha! And ha! Now then, we have these spikes. There's a couple ways we can go about this. I can either run, or I can just be invisible slash intangible. We're going to do the first one. Ooh, I can, I, I can even dash. Excellent. Perfect. And thus we have obtained the cane of Birna. Swing it once for a ring of, a ring of protection. And unfortunately, we don't have anything with which to fill up our magic. So, this is what it looks like. I'm going to use this hook shot. That could have gone a little better. I should have been a little bit more prepared for this. So now you guys are going to have to deal with the warning music. Sorry about that. But hey, we now have that awesome piece of tech. Magic tech. Now we're going to dash over here. Take out our Book of Medora, hold up the Master Sword, and you will get the magic of Ether. Woohoo! The Ether Medallion! Magic controlling the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Alright, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna fix this health situation. Because health situation. Thank you. Get some of this. And we'll get some of this. Good things to have. Now then, next thing we're going to do... Closest transporter, I think, is back here. We're going to head back to the Dark World. In here. I believe the transport is right up here. Yes. 
that we can get that out of the way. Just warp on through here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, darn it. Ah, there's a faster way to do this. Because the bridge is out in the dark world over there. Whee! So we're going to want to... Go this way. All right. I'm going to head up this time. Go this way. Well, I guess I could have gone that way. Oh, well. What's in here? It is just a regular shop. We're good with that. It was dark. I was wondering if there was something underneath it. All right. Oh, hello. This way to the Lake of Ill Omen. Okay. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. Circle of stones. Am I really going to be that guy? Yes. Yes, I am. Being that guy! Okay. That was a bone fish. And that's a big fish. Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I'll give this to you if you go away. Okay. I will take the quake medallion, which causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. I see nothing wrong with this situation. Alright, let's jump back. Because, ow, we get to go this way. And in fact, it puts us... It did put us... Thank you. It did put us right where we want to be. Because we cannot activate this before. But before we do... I can't help but notice I'm a little low on health. So we're gonna bomb this open. And take that. Onward! There we go. Here we are. It suddenly occurred to me that having more magic before going into an ice-themed dungeon would have been smart. In fact, I can't even kill this guy. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's fix that. Somehow. I'd like to not have to use my magic potion, if at all possible. But I may not have a choice. What's in here? No, it's just a shop. Alright. You no. Know, it's annoying, but it's also the fastest. So. Let's go back to the magic shop and we'll buy another potion. All right.
Kind of annoying, but... Do what you gotta do. Thankfully, we have a very quick route back to where we were. Just ignore you people. Jump in the lake. We'll just use the original portal. All right, take two. Action! I have fire. I kill Ice Man coming out of wall. Link, the magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. You think? You think? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Going down. And pressing a button. Okay, this way, and All right. guess we'll go this way first. All right. You know, I'm really sick of getting two hearts dead for every time I get damaged by something random. Ah. What could be inside you? A compass. All right, where is this guy? At the very bottom. Seven basements. Wow. This is a deep dungeon. Okay. What the? <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, great. Run, run, gone. Okay. That's gonna be useful, I bet. If I can... Okay. Let's just keep moving on. Keep on keeping on. We'll go this way now. Alright, there's something I can actually do with that. We need to time this. This. I guess it's more delay than time. Explosion. Going down. You cannot destroy the skeleton knight with the sword alone. When he collapses, he's vulnerable to another weapon. Huh. So he's a Stalfos. Okay. Bye. Oh, come on. That's not correct. That is correct. Much better. Good job. Way to explode like you're supposed to. Ooh, this is a moving floor. And some kind of weird shadow things. Ooh, and a key. All right. Keep on going our merry way. Thank you for the hearts. Looks like we have a way downstairs. Still. 